In this tutorial, we will take a look at picture libraries. A picture library is used to share a collection of digital pictures or graphics, such as team events, product launches, or logos. Although pictures can be stored in other types of SharePoint libraries, picture libraries have several advantages. For example, from a picture library, you can view pictures in a slideshow, download pictures to your computer, and edit pictures with compatible graphics programs such as Microsoft Office Picture Manager. You can also link to pictures in your library from elsewhere on your site, such as from wikis and blogs. Because picture libraries are not created automatically with a team site, you may have to create one, so we will start with how to create a picture library. The first step is to navigate to the site where the picture library will be maintained. We will be creating a picture library for storing employee photos that the HR department will maintain, so we'll navigate to the Human Resources site. Then to create the picture library, we go to the Site Actions drop-down, choose View All Site Content, and this shows me all the list and libraries created in the Human Resources site. And as we can see here under the picture library category, there are no picture libraries. So up at the top, we click on create to create a new list. This shows me a list of all the different lists and libraries that can be created. So from the left here, I'll choose to filter this by libraries. And then I'll select that I'm creating a picture library. And then first thing I want to do over here in the right is give the library a name, and I'm going to call this Employee Photos. After entering the name, I'll click on More Options. It provides you with a description text box where you can enter a description for this particular library. For navigation, I can choose whether or not I want to link to the library from the Quick Launch on the left side. The default is yes, which I will leave it at that. And the second option, Picture Version History, lets me choose whether or not a new version of an image is created each time a picture is changed or edited. The default is no, and I'm just going to leave that as no as well. And then at the bottom, I'll click Create. So that takes me to this new picture library that I've created. Up here, you'll see the name in the breadcrumb trail. And the next thing to do would be to upload some pictures to the library. So to upload pictures to the library, I have this Upload button here. When I click the drop-down, I can choose between uploading an individual picture or multiple pictures. First, I'll upload an individual picture and then click Browse to browse to the computer. And here I have a folder called Employees where the pictures are located. And I'll select the first picture here, select Open, and then choose OK. Then I'm presented with the Properties window for this picture. It shows me the picture name, a preview of the image. I can enter a title for the picture, date it was taken, and some other information. So at this point, I'll just click on Save. And then the image thumbnail is displayed in the library. So next, I will demonstrate uploading multiple pictures, which I do by clicking the Upload drop-down, choose Upload Multiple Pictures. And when uploading multiple pictures, it presents you with more of an explorer type window where on the left hand side, there are actually shortcuts to different folders on your computer to select from. If you don't see a shortcut to the folder that you need to select the pictures from, just use add picture shortcut link up here, navigate to that folder, select add, and it will add it to the list of shortcuts here. I'm going to be uploading from a subfolder under my pictures named employees. And here are all the pictures I want to upload. I've already uploaded this first picture, so I'll select the remaining pictures to upload, which I'll do by clicking on the first picture, scroll to the bottom, hold the shift key down, and click on the last picture, and that selects all the pictures in between. Over on the right here, under Upload Settings, want to make sure you select Send Pictures Optimized for Viewing on the Web. This minimizes the, the total file size that you're uploading. And then choose Upload and Close. Prompted for my login to the site, I'll choose OK. And that brings me to this window where it says I've not quite completed uploading the pictures. I have to click this link, go back to Employee Photos. And now I can see all the photos have been added to this library. Once the files are uploaded, if you want to change the name of the file or add any other information, just click on the picture. The properties window for that picture will display. And then click on Edit Item to edit any of these fields, such as the file name, title, date, 
picture taken and so on. So I'm going to change the name here. So I've given the picture a new file name and then I'll choose save. I'm going to see the new name appears here under her picture. You can also create folders in a picture library if you want to group pictures together. So under the new button here, choose new folder. And I'm going to create a folder for pictures from a golf outing. So I'm going to name the folder golf outing. And then choose save. Now to upload pictures into that folder, the first thing I need to do is click on the folder to, to drill into it. And then I'll use the upload button just like I did before, upload multiple pictures. Again, I'm brought to that Explorer window. I'll choose the folder called Golf Outing, containing the pictures I want to upload. The first picture is already selected, so I'll just hold the Shift key down, click the last picture. Again, on the right, I'll choose Send Pictures Optimized for Viewing on the Web. And then at the bottom, Upload and Close. I'm returned to the screen where I click on the link to return to the Golf Outing folder. And just to point out so you can see where you are at, on the breadcrumb trail here shows me under human resources i'm in the employee photos picture library and in that library the folder i created called golf outing i can click on employee photos on the breadcrumb trail to back out of the golf outing folder and return to the top level of the library and then i'll click on the golf outing folder again to drill into the golf outing folder contents Picture libraries provide you with several built-in views of the images. The default is to display them as thumbnails, as you see here. And over here is the, the view list. And if I click the drop down here for all pictures, mouse over all pictures, right now we're in looking at the thumbnail version. If I click on details, that shows me just file information about the files, the file type icon, file name, picture size, and file size. The other view, if I again go to the view dropdown, mouse over all pictures and choose film strip, displays the pictures across the top as thumbnails and whichever picture I click on or select, it displays the actual full size down below. And then to return to the original view of thumbnails, I'll just go to the dropdown, choose all pictures and then thumbnails. Next, we will take a look at the Actions menu, which contains several commands for working with the selected pictures. To select a picture, you'll notice below each picture is a checkbox. When you click the checkbox, that indicates the picture is selected. You can select several pictures, click on the checkbox again to unselect. So to take a look at some of these options you have under the Actions menu, the first is Edit. This will open the picture in a picture editing program such as Microsoft Office Picture Manager. And this is handy if you need to modify the picture such as crop it or resize it. Delete will delete the selected pictures. Download will copy pictures from this picture library to your computer. You see when I select download, I can choose the size of the picture I'm downloading, whether it's the full or original size, preview size, which is 640 by 480, or thumbnail size, 160 by 120. After you select the size, select Download, choose OK, OK for your login, and then you identify where on your computer you would like to download them. Click on Save, and that completes the process. I'll just click Cancel to back out of that. Going back to the Actions menu, the next option, Send To, will insert the selected pictures into an email or a document. So when I select Send To, and choose OK, and OK again for your login, in this dialog box you choose where you would like to send the selected pictures. If you have any documents open, such as I have this Word document titled IPL is open, I could send it into that document or into a new email message, a new Word document, a new PowerPoint presentation, or a new Excel spreadsheet. Let's see, I'll choose email and choose send. And as you see, it opens a brand new email message with that picture inserted into the message area. I'll just close this email message. Going back to the Actions menu, another command in here that's nice is the View Slideshow. 
which presents all your images as a slideshow. It opens up a separate window for the show. And one thing you can do is click on play and then it just automatically runs through each picture, displaying each for about four or five seconds, and then automatically goes to the next picture. Or you can control when it goes to the next picture using the next previous buttons or stop. When finished viewing the pictures as a slideshow, just close that window to return to the library.